Alrighty, so we're gonna tackle a slightly different project today on the SC400. So I did pick up a new throttle body gasket, um, just a cheap little Felpro to get it on. Um, but now we can get this throttle body reinstalled. But before I do that, I realize now would be the opportune time to tear into this mess. Um, one, because, you know, I've got the intake and everything kind of torn apart and I've been in this engine bay and have a good feel for it. Um, and two, because now is also the time to install the little catch can and I want to mount it back in this corner. And all this ABS mess is extremely in my way. So, it's pretty simple looking. Um, did a little researching. Um, this red cap here is a bleeder. You want to bleed off pressure to make sure you don't have any pressure that's going to pop when you take another lines off. This two modules come out. All the fluid lines that run back on the firewall, I've got a fish out of there. And then we have a second bleeder over here on this that we will release pressure. And that and this are like another little unit here that will come out. Then I have this kit that will basically just turn this into standard power brakes. No ABS, no more traction control. That's all going to be gone off this car. And then I also went ahead and got some stop tech braided lines to go from my calipers to the hard lines. So, you know, this will basically be all new fluid lines. We're going to put all new fluid in it, bleed it back out. Um, one other thing I've noticed, I guess you need this and this are supposed to be kind of linked. So most folks just take this hose off of this module, trim it, and just tap these two together. Um, you could probably also just block those off, which I may do in the future, because I think you're, there's literally no use for those. Because as far as I can tell, they're just a feed and return for brake fluid to the ABS modules. So I may just end up capping them off in the future, um, or, just leave it looped, whatever works. Drain down the reservoir as much as I could, just with a little squeezy bulb thing. Um, bled the pressure out of this first and got quite a bit of fluid out of it actually. Um, so if you do this, use caution. And then I cracked this bleeder second and got no fluid out of it. Um, so then I came over here and went ahead and then bolted this entire module. So there is one bolt down here a nut here, and then there's two more nuts back here, and they're actually in the uh, fender here. See, one's right there, and one's right there. So you take those off, it's loose. See, I went ahead and disconnected all the lines from it. So this is actually your line to the right front wheel, and then the rest of these are for the rest of the system. As um, so you can see, I kind of bent them up out of the way, and I'm going to try to shimmy this mess out of here, and then I've got to get these all disconnected and out from behind with as little carnage as possible, hopefully. This is like my parts graveyard now, because we've got the hydro fan set up, and now we've got the ABS module. This monstrosity that we just pulled out of the car. So this is what you're left with. Now I have a ton of space back in here, but I also have this mess of wires. So there's a bracket back here I've already disconnected. And then you can see some of the wires run kind of up under, let me get my light, kind of up underneath here and run to the other side. And you've also got hoses that run up here and across and I got to get all of those out. So I'm going to kind of separate the spaghetti here and then start pulling them one by one out, um, disconnecting them on this side as needed and then kind of pull them out. So I'm actually now I'm going to jump over and pull this side apart so that I can, you know, disconnect all the lines on this side. So what I'm dealing with, this is literally, as I drop the cover, it's all track and ABS stuff. And 
apparently if you have a crown, that is your fan and I think fuel pump, I'm guessing that means. Um, you can see for mine, that's traction, solenoid, traction motor, ABS motor, ABS solenoid. And apparently the Supra has something extra over here. But anyway, so this whole thing can actually come out. So that's probably gonna happen. And then we're gonna pull this mess. So this thing, you have to take the wiring tape off of here, top these clips on the side, and you can actually remove this bottom cover, and then that exposes your wires. Um, then I pulled the relays, pulled the little plastic caps, and actually unpinned this whole module. And then I'm just popping the relays back in so that they're all together um, in that unit. Um, then for now, um, I'm just gonna tape these all off separately, then tape them together in a bundle and kind of tape them out of the way. Um, definitely something I wanna do in the future is, and it probably won't happen until I end up throwing a first gen engine in this car, but I really wanna take a wiring harness and just strip everything I don't need out of it and make it super simple, super cut down. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna kinda tape these out of the way where they're not obnoxious and continue removal. So then in the main fuse block, there is a seven and a half amp track, a ABS number 240 amp, which is this little guy. And then this ABS number 160 amp is a bit of a hassle. So this style is actually bolted in. There's an eight and a 10 millimeter screw you have to get out. And to get those out, you have to unbolt the little positive terminal, and then there's two clips you undo, and then you can actually pull this whole thing out, disconnect that, which disconnects this guy, and then take this bolt out, which lets you remove it entirely. So, um, again, I'm just gonna take this guy up for now. Just got this out, so that assembly is out. Um, similar to the other side, there's a nut here, there's a bolt um, down there that you have to get from inside the fender, and there's also bolts down here on the shock tower. Um, and then you have to remove this line from the top. So fairly simple, um, there's a little bracket here that holds the electrical connector you pull off. So that's another connector that'll get taped up. But unfortunately you have to remove the master cylinder to get that actuator out of there. And upon removal, there's actually like a paper gasket that sits on here and it was completely disintegrated. That'll be something to find tomorrow, but. So all the modules are now out and now I'm finally gonna really tackle the line here is the carnage. I tried and tried to get these lines out in one piece, but it just was not gonna happen. So I ended up having to cut all the lines on one side of the firewall and pull it through side to side to side to side. It was an absolute fight, but I won. Got our new lines that are gonna connect to our master that I'm hopefully gonna find a new seal for tomorrow. Um, the fronts, one runs all the way across and then actually will duck through the fender right here and replace this guy um, and connect. There's like another hard line connection right inside of, so right there. So that's where this will hook up and then actually it'll hook directly to my new stop tech lines. Same on this side, it goes through right there, through the fender. So we'll get that. And then for the rear lines, if you see these two that are cut right here, they run down and in this bundle down here, they have connections that you can't really see on camera, but I promise they're there. So I have to get down there disconnect those metal lines, and then run my other T line from the reservoir down right there. And that runs out 
hard line to the rears. And then the rears again, of course, will get the other set of stop tech caliper braided lines. So that will be the next step. Get the car off the ground, get under there, get that all torn out and squared away. And as soon as those lines are done, then we will bleed the whole system and the brakes will be done for now. This bundle of wires here, I just taped up and zip tied up for now. And then over here, once I depinned and wired up, you can see I have this little bundle of wires all taped up under there that all dealt with that guy. So um, actually I still need to tape this guy up because he's not used anymore. So the only, and this is where I could massively cut down on these wiring harnesses because this entire harness running along here is now literally just the fluid level sensor. And this entire massive chunk here is just for this guy. Now, of course, this one runs down. You know, there's a lot of other headlights and stuff involved in this one. But I could at least take this back into here, cut this whole mess of wiring out, and just super simplify this. Um, that'll be a project for the future for now. This'll do.